Hi YouTube world, welcome back to my channel if it's your first time. I'm Adrian. I live in New York City and I love playing with makeup. I am actually currently on a break. I am in my mom's home in Florida. This is why this background is how it is, the lighting is how it is. I thought it would be fun to just jump on and touch base show you maybe what I packed, put it on my face, tell you what's been going on in my life, and and yeah, so if that sounds fun, stay tuned. All right, so I just had a full beach day, and my skin is freaking out. Um, I have been religiously putting on sunscreen, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter here. The sunscreen, it's just the sun laughs it laughs it don't care it don't care so i've been struggling a bit a lot of my melasma i mean look at that Oof. this back back look at this look at this crazy so i'm not gonna fret too much because when i get back to new york i know i have a really solid routine when it comes to my melasma and i know i can take care of it in just a few weeks so I'm not gonna freak out over it. In fact, I don't even think I brought my favorite foundation. I brought such a hodgepodge of stuff that I thought I would share and let you know what I'm working with, which is very, very little. I brought um, the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. I actually got this in a different shade, in 6W. I was noticing in one video, I was wearing the 5N a lot and it was really kind of, pinky peach on me like really pinky peach normally pinky peach looks really nice on me but it was too it was too much so I, I didn't really like the color so much so I picked this one up and I think it's a better match I also got from Colourpop I had no business buying a palette but I had wanted this palette for a really long time this is the getting fresh palette so this is the palette and yeah i've already played with it i love it already i love it and so i decided to bring it on my trip and while i've been on my trip i went to a cbs because me and drugstores i love drugstores and i picked up the michaela michaela part two uh, or pat two palette because it really intrigued me the color story and i swatched it and it's really nice it's this one here so let's just put on some base makeup, whatever I have. What else do I have? How is everyone doing? I feel like coming off of 30 days of lip product videos, I needed a vacation. I was exhausted. That was an exhausting thing to go through, but I am so happy that I got rid of as much as I did because I don't know I just felt I've been feeling so much lighter when I go to get ready like what I'm using I know this looks a little crazy but don't worry don't worry we'll get there we'll get there I was really tired of just like makeup playing with makeup and I felt like I was just learning a lot about what it was that I liked or didn't like and when I got to the declutter I was ruthless. I mean, I got rid of stuff that I, mean, I was shocked. I was shocked at how easy it was. And I think it's because I really focused for 30 days on something. I don't know how you guys do with declutters in general, or even like in your own, like not even like makeup related, like clothing related. I think if you challenge yourself to do something like if let's say you struggle with uh, what's something else that I feel like I acquire a lot of like dresses, dresses or tops, challenge yourself for 30 days to wear a different top a day, like go make yourself do it. And I think by the end, you're going to find that you have that thing that felt really tough, like the decision between one or the other is going to feel super easy. The weather in Florida has been crazy because, well, it's hurricane season, so it's always crazy this time of year. And um, we haven't had like an all sunny day, and today was the all sunny day. And I'm only here for two more days, but we really wanted to take advantage of it. And my mom, she moved to a retirement community, which is so cool. 
I cannot wait to turn 55. I mean, these communities are awesome. Awesome. So, um, they, they have like a really cool pool and everything, but maybe 20 minute drive, they actually have a beach club right on the beach that has like a swimming pool and facilities. And it's right on this beautiful beach um, called Ormond Beach in Florida. I mean, I have never, I am a Floridian born and raised, but a South Floridian. So this whole area, this whole middle part of Florida is foreign to me. Outside of like Tampa and Orlando, I'm familiar with those areas, but this area, Daytona and this whole, I, I know nothing. I know nothing. So it's been kind of fun to explore. Um, I'm just powdering my face a little with the Bye Bye Pores by It Cosmetics. Um, so it's been really fun to explore this area. I, I, I like it. I mean, Miami was getting so unaffordable. It, it was just crazy. It was, it was crazy. So what's nice is I find that there's more diversity here when it comes to like economic diversity. Not everyone's not spending, you know, millions of dollars on homes and um, even homes that don't deserve to be millions of dollars. So we had a fun beach day. Um, the water was very rough, like very surfy, um, but it was still beautiful. It was very cool, very beautiful. And we just had a really nice relaxing day. I even took my first nap. I took my first nap on this trip, which is always a nice thing. I'm using Bobbi Brown Aruba. No, I'm using Bobbi Brown Antigua. This is a really beautiful uh, blush. This is the first time I'm using any of this makeup on this trip. I have not worn a stitch of makeup. I just, I forget. Like when, when all I'm doing is slathering like layers of sunscreen all day long and going in and out of the pool. Yeah, I forget to, I forget to put anything else on. So it's been a very makeup free kind of week, but that's nice. I feel like very relaxed on this trip too, because whereas the last time I was here, we were still setting up the house. And I mean, this room, the guest room needs to be set. We don't have any paintings. I have work to do, but I'll do it next time. Um, the last time I was here, it was just a lot of work, work, work to do. And so this time that we've just, my husband came down with me and it's just been nice to relax and enjoy the beach and enjoy my mom. Right now I'm just putting on some bronzer. I'm using the Thrive Cosmetics Sun Chaser in Rhea. This I'm like nearly, I've nearly hit pan on and I was going to just declutter it, but I gave it a try the other day and I, I really like it. It's a matte bronzer and I forgot how much I like it. You know, that's another thing. Like I'm trying to look at my other makeup categories and see where else I can be a little ruthless, but also if there are things I love use them you know don't declutter just for declutter like just create a collection that really works for you sort of thing and i'm trying not to buy things but still there are some eyeshadow palettes that are catching my eye i'm building my holiday wish list the new huda empowered palette i cannot wait to get my hands on that now with this new perspective and maybe creating challenges i don't know that i can do another 30 days because it's also very exhausting just with work and everything to film but maybe I'll do like a weekly recap on stuff so I am just using the Boss Brow Gel also from Colourpop a bit of a Colourpop week and I'm just going to put on the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base I still don't think I have an opinion about this. I haven't used it enough. I don't know what to think about it. I just know everyone recommends it. I haven't really noticed a big difference. I'm just gonna put on 
some of those brownie shades. Start with Dressed Up from the ColourPop palette. So thank you all for tuning in to that series. <laughs> I feel like I'm not the only one who invested so much time too. So I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the comments and questions. I hope I answered everyone's questions. What do you guys want to see next? What are you most excited for? Uh, what do you need help with? I inspire you, you inspire me. I'm much more motivated when someone asks me, can you tell me about this? I'm like, yes, I can. Sometimes I look at all my stuff and I'm like, what the heck, where do I even start? And then I end up using the same makeup and I don't really look at my stuff differently. How do you all look at your, what you use differently? And how can you appreciate it more? That's what I'm trying to do. So I started to think about some of the palettes I kept from my eyeshadow declutter and I realized like some of those, as beautiful as they are, I think I'm gonna have to do round three of an eyeshadow declutter because I'm not gonna be wearing hot pink and purple and blue all the time. So maybe I shouldn't have as many palettes as I do that have those colors. I should just pick a couple and leave it at that. Just in a couple of weeks, my sister is actually coming to New York to drop off her dog. I'm gonna dog sit for a week which I'm very excited about. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I'm a dog owner in New York City. I, I have all these big plans. I'm taking her to a ridiculous haircut. One of these like Japanese groomers that like do all sorts of crazy things with shears and it's ridiculously expensive, but we are splurging and I'm, I'm gonna have to do a before and after with her. Well, I'm gonna do like a full dog day in Manhattan. <laughs> I'm very excited. And as part of like, cause it's, that's my birthday week. Um, I asked my sister to hang out like one extra day, come early and she's gonna help me declutter my closet, like my wardrobe. Because I find that I do it a lot for my mom and for her, like I'm a good pal that way, but I don't have anyone to do it for me, like with me. And it gets like really lonely to go through all your clothes. And so it's a perfect time because it will be like my fall winter switch over and I could take a look at stuff and see what is it serving me. I find that my wardrobe has changed a lot since I don't have to go into the office five days a week. So I don't need, I don't need like a really extensive office wardrobe. I just need clothes I like and that are appropriate enough to go to work for two days, but I don't need like fancy suits and things like that time is done. And at my job, like we're pretty casual with clothing. I still get a little dressed up, but yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I need the wardrobe I had. When I had left my previous corporate job, one of the first things I did was like sell all my heels and my purses and stuff because I had a crazy wardrobe. I've just used three shades in the palette and I think I'm just going to pick a shimmer to go over. I just really love the tones of this palette. I think it's really nice. Let's use this shimmer called Kickback. Colourpop. There's shimmers. Sometimes you pick one up and it's like, it's really intense and other times it's barely there and you have to kind of experiment with what you use to put it on. So I just want to use my finger for this, but I'm sure that if I wet a brush with this color, Kickback, it will show up much more foiled. And again, more ColourPop. I have the Act Natural Defining Mascara in brown. I really like this mascara. It's so affordable. And the brown is such a good brown. Sometimes the browns that companies come out with for mascara or pull 
too red or they're so dark they might as well be like a soft black this one is a really good neutral deep brown but it's it's definitely brown and it doesn't you know it's more subtle when you use brown mascara than going in straight for a black and i just think this mascara does a lot of good things for the lashes it's impactful but it's not over the top it doesn't look like you have spider lashes all right there you go i think i'm just going to put on um this lippy from tarte this is one of their sequench colors i love these i did not film a video regarding these but i love them see i've already used up quite a bit this one is in the color coral and it has a little bit of a plumping kind of minty vibe but nothing intense and i just i love the way they make the lips feel so that's that i hope you guys enjoyed that i just wanted to touch base with you please comment down below with any inspiration that you're looking for what do you want to see next what are you excited about when it comes to for the holidays i can tell you on my wish list i have one of the hourglass palettes on my mind it's been a few years since i've gotten it i've hit pan in a couple of the shades and i feel like it's time for a new one and i really love that elephant one um the huda palette like i mentioned empowered and i think that's it i think there there's probably going to be some other releases that interest me but i'm trying to not just want and get things i'm trying to really be a bit more thoughtful about maybe what makes it into my collection and also about decluttering stuff because i can never get back to a place i was at least not like with lip products so i hope everyone is doing well and we'll talk soon from new york okay take care everyone